The numbers are updated every day. The number of COVID-19 cases and the number of deaths, which continue to climb. The National Guard has been deployed to help transport the bodies, but perhaps the biggest responsibility at this end point of the pandemic lies with the Cook County Medical Examiner. Determining the cause of death, any underlying symptoms, protecting its own staff members, and more than anything, making sure the victims are treated with dignity. Tonight, WGN Investigates talks with the ME to see how her office is dealing with all the challenges. It's called the Surge Center, a 66,000 square foot warehouse, a refrigerated makeshift morgue. It's a stark visual that illustrates what could be. Opened in April, it's intended to ease the burden on hospitals that have no more room for bodies and to prepare for an overflow of those souls lost to the virus. On a given day, usually we're dealing with 20 cases. Now with the pandemic, we're dealing with around 90 cases a day. Dr. Pani Arunkumar, or Dr. A, as some call her. I'd like to introduce Dr. Pani Arunkumar, Cook County's Chief Medical Examiner. She and her 107-person staff. When it comes to the COVID-19 pandemic. Are among the last to deal with the dead. How are you holding up? We have not had a situation where we're dealing with so many cases, but we're determined to, in, to treat these patients with dignity and respect they deserve, and everyone is working hard to ensure that we do what our mission is. Still, the doctor says all their preparation couldn't prepare them for this harsh reality. Can you put into perspective just how unprecedented this is? We have done exercises on pandemics, a mass fatality event like an airplane crash, but most of us have not dealt with such an increasing caseload, even those who remember the heat wave. It's safe to say that I think it's going to go over 400. It was 1995, and Chicago experienced some of its hottest days. In a few short weeks, 739 were dead. Now with COVID-19, the number has doubled. Do you think we've seen the worst of this, doctor? Um, from all the data, the more recent uh, models, the peak is expected to occur sometime in mid-May, so I do not think we've seen the end of this. I think we will see an increase in the number of cases and number of deaths in the weeks to come. The staff has adopted extra measures to stay safe. Bodies are double bagged, examined in an infectious disease area with its own ventilation system. Is it different for you, doctor, handling these bodies, knowing that this could be more dangerous than normal for you? We were trained to handle cases that could be very infectious, like the Ebola cases. We need to remember to be safe, wear all the personal protective equipment that is needed, go through the case examination slowly. No, there's no need to hurry through a process and get hurt in the end. We know we're dealing with an possibly infectious case, and as long as we take the precautions that are available, the exposure is minimal. With each death, the medical examiner is compiling data, listing the comorbidities, those extra health factors that led to a COVID-19 death. The hope is that someday, somehow, this research may help in fighting the disease. You're surrounded by death every day. It's something most people don't even want to talk about. How do you compartmentalize that when you look at the job in front of you? Our, as long as we know that our work is to determine cause and manner of death, I think that makes it a little bit easier when dealing with a death or dealing with this increase in the number of deaths. Um, we tell staff just, you know, we need to do our job. With each name, Michael Mika, Wanda Bailey, Luis Gonzalez, Peggy Rakeshaw, Mary McKeon, Leroy Perryman, and so many others, it's important to remember that each has a history, a family, moms and dads, brothers and sisters, children left behind. We need to treat them like they are our loved ones to help go through this uh, increasing caseload, to help the families and to help society. Yes. Adding to the challenges, are the victims going unclaimed? That number two has doubled. Some families are fighting the virus themselves and can't collect their loved one, while others can't afford the costs. 10 years from now, when you look back on what you're doing and what we've all lived through here, what do you think the storyline will be? 
from a medical examiner's office perspective, I would think that we are dealing with this epidemic or pandemic in the best way possible. Just dealing with these cases and dealing with them with respect and dignity, that is what I would want to see 10 years from now. Under the doctor's watch, the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office has received both national and international accreditation.